Hi, Russell. Okay, we okay. got it. Hi. Hi. Hi, Miss Carrie Brown. <laughs> one. Nothing much. How are you? I'm good. I'm great. I'm blessed. But listen. Out here in uh, Los Angeles, Manhattan Beach, just got out of the ocean. You know, I had to dive in and just kind of get that salt water on my skin. Right. You know, wash off the CD vibes. <laughs> <laughs> but listen, you got to stay in one place for the Wi-Fi service and the okay. internet to work. So stay. Yeah. Okay. Don't move. You. Stay in one spot. Okay. Yeah, because it's going to start back. Um... My, my guy, Davey Brown. Bro, so this guy, Davey Brown, he, he actually put the guitar on the song with Neil uh, Fields. He did the guitar. Okay. like we, I was at the studio recording at his studio, and um, he was like, man, this song, it sounds like it need this kind of guitar. And then he started playing this Santana like crazy, like Santana shit. I was like, bro, that's it. And um, so big shout out to Davey Brown yeah. for lacing the guitar on feels. Uh, amazing job, my brother. And um, we got the video dropping this week sometime. Oh, so okay. Y'all stay tuned. Let me see if I can put the link to the song in the um, in the chat. In, in the comments? Yeah, I'll just put it in there. So um, anybody who wants to get it on, um, anybody that wants to get it on, um, Spotify, they can get they it. They can get it. Oh, oh, okay. That is awesome. But um, as I was, I'm looking for it. So I, I came live earlier at seven, and I was I spoke about the entertainment news. So now it is your turn now for the world to get you know, for my audience to get to know you. Okay. Yeah. My name is Yeah. Yes, so I was born in California, grew up in Upolo, Samoa, and um, I'm just an overall amazing guy, you know. So <laughs> <laughs> we just dropped a song with we just dropped a song with Neo called Feels. Yeah, I'm really excited about that. It's been doing it's been doing well, and we just shot the video this weekend. Um, it's been a minute since we um, had our last conversation. Yeah, I know. I know. I always. Have, I I always appreciate uh, Carrie Ann Brown, Thank you know, supporting you. the music and the artists and everything. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. Yes. But um, so I want to know, I want to know what made you wanted to be an artist? What made me want to be an artist? Yeah. Um, probably that was the way that I was able to deal with, um, to deal with life kind of to deal with my own, uh, you know, things that I was going through. It's just, uh, I was always playing music. My mother was a piano teacher. I grew up in islands where I was always around music. So it was just a very natural thing for me. I was always doing music. And then um, I was also doing sports as a kid. And then I, I, I guess at some point it was like, it became like, oh, are you going to do music or are you going to do sports? And I ended up, you know, music. Going, yeah, I go. I I ended up going to music. I just um, it was a good way for me to express, and it was also a good way for me to connect. I I um, I was I was kind of grown up as like kind of like the, I I don't want to say outcast, but you know, I was like you know, growing up in a different country, learning different languages. So I was always like you know, kind of like a different person in the group yeah. and um it was just a cool way for me to um connect with people and express my life and everything like that and um you know i just love music from a child so it was just natural for me to you know to, to do it yeah so you lived so you lived um you lived in japan for a couple of years correct more than a couple of years, I think. Um, I so I I signed a record deal with Universal Japan in um, in, in 2010, and so yeah. I yeah I I was in Japan for five years. I learned Japanese. Hey, Daniela, we out here in where are we? We're in yeah. man like Manhattan Beach, Los Angeles. 
just got out of the ocean <laughs> and uh, yeah we we just went for a little swim yeah. yeah right so you you went to japan for um for a deal yeah i went to japan in 2010 for a deal and um ended up staying there for five years and then i ended up going what? back a couple years oh. ago oh okay that's awesome. Yes. awesome. Uh huh. So what? What? Um. What happened to the deal with them? Um, it, it was it was great. I went to Japan and got a whole new audience and started touring around. It's um, it's probably like uh, four thirty in the morning over there right now. Um, oh, okay. But uh, yeah, I, um, it was great. You know, I I. I learned a whole nother language and um, got a whole bunch of new fans and experience. And I think for me, Japan was one of like, like it kind of taught me about the business and I, I learned, you know, a lot of different things from being over there. Yeah. Okay. So tell, so tell us what was your first, song that you recorded um guys the internet the internet service keep coming in and out yeah this thing keep cutting uh, over yeah. here let me see here but i was saying what was the first song that you recorded in my life was a song called let your light shine and I oh, think that okay. song, yeah, um, that was a reggae, that was like a reggae kind of song. And um, it was, it, yeah, it was like very uplifting kind of song. I was very surprised how well it did. That that was the song that kind of changed my life. It um, went to number one on the radio station in Hawaii, which kind of started my career. So yeah, most of, uh, you know, everything for me like as far as professional musician kind of started from Hawaii. Oh. And it, it started from that song called um, <coughs> Let, Let Your Light Shine. And then, and, you know, it yeah. ended up being number one for years and years in Hawaii. Mm -hmm. And then it ended up going to sell millions of records on um, millions of downloads on Apple Music. And that's kind of what started my, my entire career, really. Oh, okay. And um, I see that you have songs with reggae entertainers Shaggy and Sean Paul. Tell us about those two songs. Um, so I moved to Jamaica in 2015 and I started working with, well, I worked a little bit with some people around Chris Blackwell and Chris Blackwell on an album project. Um, and in that project, we recorded a song with Shaggy, uh, which is called a touchdown and um that was what pretty much brought me back to the states the first time coming back to um the states and we released that song it, it, it ended up um who is somebody requesting to oh, you. um it ended up uh it debuted at 31 on the billboard charts okay and, um, my song with Sean Paul, I recorded it um, around the, um, let me see if you guys can see me good in here. I, we, we recorded this song with Sean Paul in 2019. Actually, like, we, I think we recorded this song um, right before the pandemic started. And then um, we, uh, pandemic started. Um, that okay. song is called Closer to You. That song is doing really, really well. Um, it, it gets a lot of streams on the um, on the uh, Spotify. Oh, and, um, okay. Yes, yeah, weird. I keep seeing all these people joining, but then when I look on your page, it says four. Okay, so you have people from your room, and I have people from my room. Is that what it right. is? Right, that, that are watching. Yeah, they're watching the live Say hi. from your end hi. and my end. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> real life, real life. Hi. Real roots, man. 
Yeah. 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 So. So. So what is next? So you have you have a new song that I think it was released recently. Um, I just saw it on your page, I believe. Yeah. So. Um. So I have a couple new songs. So. Uh, I just released a new song with my bros, uh, Mr. D Love and Molly McFly. It's called Wine. And um, that's a song I did with my, my brothers out here in San Diego. Um, we okay. just released that on Friday and we dropped the video as well. So you can check that out. And then um, two weeks ago, I released a song with Neo and that song is called Feels. And we are dropping the internet keep coming in and out. Yeah. Oh, they're watching from my group. And then I can see people watching from your group that's separate, right? Right. So yeah, you, separate. Yeah, yeah. So I can see like, um, your, your group, I can see, um, listeners, yes, yes, viewers. Yes. And then in my group, I see different viewers. So yeah, are those you, are, are your you, Okay, so are you <laughs> That's everybody. That's everybody. But big up to all those on the live that's okay. watching the live right yes. now. Yes. Big up everybody that's joining the live. The F music, my bro. Vamos con todo. Oh, vamos con todo. Um, my sister over there. Uh, Daniela. Can't wait to see you guys at the next show out here in Los Angeles. We'll definitely be rocking together in Miami soon. Nest Central, shout out to you. Tasha, um, let's see, Davey Brown, Big Love, C2F Entertainment, Love from India, the one Marley Jones, Big Up My Bro, Love You, 420 Loopy Leia, Love to yeah. You. Thank you, everybody, for joining the live. Yeah, the F music, big up, my bro. Panama, Panama. Panama in the building. Miami in the building. Atlanta in the building. Love to big you up, guys. Big up Thank to everybody. Guys. Big yes. up to everybody on the live. But um, I want to ask you, um, the new song that you that you just, just released, I think Shout it out was to, when, I yeah. didn't mean to cut you off. Yeah. Shout out to Lake Davis. He's the man. My manager is in the building. Oh, Love you okay. Me, my brother. Hi, manager, Lake Davis. Yeah, Lake official. Davis. He's the, he's, yeah. he's the best manager in the world. Oh, um, awesome. But, yeah, it was, a, it was a, and it was a new addition to me coming to the States. Like, you know, I had, had to, to kind of like find my team, but I kind of let my team find me. And yeah. over time, you know, we just locked in and it's, it's just been, it's just been such a huge blessing to have Lake Davis on my side. I can't even uh, explain it enough. Black Star from the 80s. Shout out to you. Yes. Yeah. The F. Vamos Canto. Yes, everyone. The new song is out. Stream now. Video dropping this Thursday or Friday called Feels. Check okay. it out now and check out my new video called Wine with my brothers, Mr. D Love, Molly McFly. And the song is doing really well. It's starting to move on the charts here in the States. You know, okay. we, we just, you know, good music. We're just putting out the good music and um, letting the people move it really for us. Right. I hear you. So when are we going to get an album from you? Album. We need an album. Yes. Yeah, so, the, so the new album is dropping November 3rd. Oh, this okay. Year. Yeah. Uh-huh. And it has some of my uh, recent hits like Sparrows and Bend the Back, um, as well as Feels. And the, actually, the album is called Feels. Oh, okay. Uh huh. The album. Uh huh. Yeah. So the album will be dropping on the um, the third of November. Oh, okay. So November third is your album Feels releasing. That's awesome. Uh huh. And um, I want to know because you do a variety of mu of different genre of music, so I would like to know: is there a specific category or genre of music that you would most identify with, or no? 
Um, well, if you, well, the way that you put the question, I would say yes, yes. because it would be reggae. Yeah, it would be reggae. reggae. Yeah, the, okay. that I most identify with. I don't necessarily like stay in the, you know, yeah, <laughs> all the time. But yeah, right. I, I, yeah. I mean, I grew up in the islands. I live in the islands most of my life, and um, as a teenager and as a young child, like a young boy, a young teenager, I was performing reggae music in the nightclub. So. I'm like right. 16, 15, 16 years old, performing in the nightclubs, um, singing with the bands, drinking, partying with the ladies. <laughs> That's how I grew up. And so uh, for me, you know, we how we started out was actually like performing the top 40 music, whatever was popular in the island. Mm -hmm. We would just play it in a reggae style. So, um, you know, of course, you know, Reggae, reggaeton, dancehall, Afrobeats. Yeah, all kind you, of right. Hip -hop. You have you have done all of them. <laughs> yeah, I like to yeah. find. I, I usually I like to find this kind of blend of all of them because that's really like who I am. Right. I'm kind of like a product of a, a mixture of genre, but you know, music is music. You know, notes are, don't have the genre, melodies don't have a genre, and a lot of the rhythm like the the rhythms and stuff nowadays is kind of similar you know so yeah. i i feel like i'm <laughs> i feel like i'm a perfect blend i, I i'm i feel like i'm a good blend right. of, of of the different genres you know of hip hop reggae dance hall and you know i've been doing some work in africa oh. so you know we got oh. the afro beats by yeah. e even the um the tune that i have with Sean Paul we have a group called R2Bs yeah. that are one of the big Afrobeats groups from Ghana that's on the track um, as well. So, yeah. Oh, okay. So if, um, what advice would you give to those, you know, young kids that say, you know, I'm thinking of joining music. What advice would you give them? Don't do it. <laughs> <laughs> You said do it, of course. <laughs> no, just kidding. No, no, but um, you know, it, it's nice to it's nice to have somebody that 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 knows, you know, that it can at least tell you. I mean, you know, follow. I mean, life is what you make it, you know. Right. So follow your passion. I mean, right. Um, you know, doing music these days is cra it, It's crazy. It's I, in some ways it's easier, and some ways it's it's a lot harder right. now than even when I started. Um, but you know, I feel like I, I feel like I'm, I'm a believer in, you know, like life is what you make it. Yeah. And I also, it's crazy because I also feel some kind of like, you know, I felt like kind of like predestined. Like, I feel like some people are like predestined for like a path. Maybe that we walked this path before yeah. and now we're just yeah. continuing it. So I definitely felt like that for myself um that it, it was just like it was just like something that a path that i've been on even probably before this incarnation so um man just you know find find your spirituality because i do feel like music right. is spiritual and also like when i'm looking at like and listening in you know the music that's coming out a lot nowadays it's a lot of trash and it's a lot of negativity yeah um and uh, it's a lot of superficial stuff and to be honest um i i, I, I to me music is spiritual so i, I think that uh, my advice would be like find spirituality and learn business yes you know? yeah music is music is life so it's just something that's flowing it's something that when i go for a walk or I hang out with my friends, it's just something that we do. Right. If I go for rock, I just start singing. When I hang out with my friends, a lot of times we play music. So to me, music's just kind of just a part of life. But when you want to make it like your life like that, I say, you know, definitely um, I recommend, I, I mean, I, I would tell people to, you know, tap into like, you know, like, Learn business and in in right music, the music business is spiritual. Part. Yeah, it's spiritual yeah. in some way. So you know, if you're just out there, you're just putting out anything for any reason. Even if you're 
even if like because like a lot of sometimes like the negativity and you know people say like sex sales and drama or violence is kind of you know it's a, a, mu a lot of music is fueled off of that stuff yeah so um i would say even though you feel like you can get ahead you know you're not going to get ahead because you can't cheat the universe right so, yeah so um let's see tell them don't think right the way <laughs> and keep oh that's right i forgot so yeah i have this song um uh davy if you can put the link to the video in the um if you can put the link to don't think in here i would go and put it but i'm afraid that if i, if I click off i might uh lose everybody so yeah i have a song with um davy he's he's the guitar player on the feels track okay and um I did a song with him last summer, which is incredible. It's called Don't Think. Okay. And we shot the video in San Diego. It's a very uh, feel good song. And I think that song is kind of a cool mixture of, think. I think it's a mixture of, of reggae and. Oh, okay. It's a mixture of reggae or oh, the internet service. Okay, so the internet froze, so I'm just gonna wait and see when it comes back. But in the meantime, guys, um, yeah, check out. Um, oh, it went off. Check out his new song with Nao. It's called um, Feels. It is now streaming on all the platforms, and I'm gonna try to get him back on the live internet in the white you know the service um let me see see if he went live so i'm gonna see i'm gonna i invited him back let me see yeah guys so check out um his new song called feels featuring r&b entertainer neo it's a beautiful song yeah oh thank you um lake davis official he put it up on spotify yeah um i'm gonna see if i can get him back here that's his right gotta tag tag his instagram page to come back uh. yeah guys so check out I uh, oh okay. We got to KBMP clothing for the for tagging the entertainer. Yeah. So guys, um, the link is here. Lakes Davis official, who is the manager, it says he's unable to join. Um, I think he has to go live again, and then I'll join. But check out check out um, the song, guys. It's now streaming on spotify and all platforms and yeah everywhere it's streaming to so go check it out um his new song with neo called title feels um i'm gonna try to get him back on the live guys and see i don't know I'm trying to get this thing off the screen So, we up to um, his artist, um, not his artist, his manager that is here. I'm trying to get him back, but I can't. He said he's unable to join. So, I think he has to go back live, and then I will join his live. Let me see if he went live. No, he didn't go live. Anyway, guys, it's the internet service. So, I just want to thank you guys for tuning in today for my little interview with um yeah with uh, uh Jacopo um remember to check out his new song with Neo called Tycho Feels that is now streaming on all musical platforms the album is coming he said in November so look out for that and we hope you know we're looking forward to some tour dates hello uh, Mr. Manager, Mr. Lake Davis. So we're looking for 
you know, his tour dates and meeting greets and all these things. And hopefully he can come to New York and, you know, meet his fans in Atlanta and Georgia and, um, yeah, all over the world. So I want to thank everyone for tuning in today for the quick little interview with me and uh, Jacopo. And don't forget, music is life. And follow, like, and share. Okay, guys? Have a blessed day. Oh, they are coming. Okay. Yes. Awesome. Yeah. So I hope one of the dates are New York because I live in New York City. So, you know, he has to see his New York fans here. And, um, yeah. So I, I am looking forward to his album coming out. Guys, check out his music. He has, a, he has music of all genres streaming now on every single uh, platform out there musically. So check out, yeah, his music all over the place. And big up to everyone. And um, this video will be uploaded onto my YouTube channel, Carrie and Brown Music Promotion. So guys, check it out as well. Um, Lake Davis official, big up yourself and thank you for joining. And um, yeah, he's on the beach, guys. So the signal, you know, when you go to the beach, the signal is in and out. But it's okay. I. I am happy I get to speak to him, of course. Because this is a long um, waited interview and hopefully, you know, I'll be able to interview him when he's on tour. You're welcome. DJ, DJ, what? DJ Lando 87876, Young Gunson. Big up to Young Gunson, yeah. So everybody, I'm going to go now. Thank you guys for...